What's going on? <laughs> oh, oh, oh! What do you want from me? Okay, what are we doing? 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 <laughs> oh, an incredibly cryptic castle, huh? Well, I wonder what this is gonna be. All right, uh, the name is misspelled. <laughs> Does that mean it's a troll level? <laughs> Does that mean it's a troll level? All right, let's do it. The incredibly Kerpitic <laughs> Castle Race by Andrew. Ooh, another person whose name I like a lot. <laughs> let's do it. I'm ready for that race spaghetti. I miss Carl's old hair bowl cut a riot. Woo! Well, I did, I did really well for my first life. <laughs> that could have gone a lot worse. <laughs> Mario Maker is worth it. Yeah, I know, right? I, I think so too. Like, I'm sure I'm gonna have tons of fun until then, regardless of what happens with the Switch. And even right when the Switch first comes out, you know, it might not, it might not like have all the stuff that's gonna make it worth buying anyway into, for a little bit. Okay, I need to drop my jump. Gotta drop the jump there. The coins tell me exactly where to go. There it is. Oh, shit. Oh my god, what is going on? I have no idea what- I think I'm supposed to spin jump into the giant shell in the lava? That's my best guess for what the hell I'm supposed to do? That was hard to even tell what was happening. Oh, like that. Yeah, yeah, Smaller spin jump? And then I'm gonna bounce off of the shell? Jesus. <laughs> Shit's crazy! I'm dead! Alright, let's see if I can figure this out because I'm a little bit confused. Oh, I have to jump. I get it. Okay, we got it. That's it. That's it. Damn, this is some crazy shit. It's hard to tell what's going on. How do you feel about the Nintendo Switch? We were just talking about it a little bit. I'm actually very excited for the Nintendo Switch. To be honest, the gamepad was always a bit too big for me to hold. Though I know a lot of people did like it. Uh, one, hold on a sec. Jump there. So I actually have to jump to... Shit. I actually have to jump up to, like, hit one of the question mark blocks, and that is what knocks the shell over there for me to have a platform to land on. Jump. The ghost of Miyamoto himself. Let's see who's behind me. Oh, oh, oh! What do you want from me? <laughs> do I go... I think I stop at the... Jeez. I think I have to slow down there. Yeah, I think I need to slow down there. Okay. Honking, though. Alright, we're... There it is. Oh, my... <laughs> Fuck. What was that Kaizo block that I had to do? <laughs> oh, shit, 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 shit. All right, I think we're good. Oh, <laughs> almost missed it. All right, checkpoint. Yeah, yeah. We got fireballs. I'm down. Oh, we're... All right, I'm dead. <laughs> I'm dead. I'm dead. <laughs> I'm straight up dead. Oh, it actually will let me go back. Maybe I can reset. That's actually a really nice touch, because that let me reset. But I don't... I should, should I make that? I actually don't know. I think I hold forward and spin jump, but it's hard to say exactly. Oh God, what do I do? <laughs> I don't know if that's what I was supposed to do. <laughs> I don't think I'm doing this right. All right. Okay, no, I gotta, as soon as it comes out, throw this, I think. <laughs> That wasn't even close. <laughs> All right, let's do this. I really, oh, I'm supposed. <laughs> so it wants me to hit the, oh, it just wants me to throw the spring up. That's what it is. I just throw the spring up. So I'm like cheesing the level. I get it, I get it. So we're just gonna th throw the spring up. I still don't understand whether it wants me to damage boost there or not. I have a feeling I'm not supposed to, but I'm not really sure what's going on to be perfectly honest. Oh shit! Fuck! Oh my god! Uh, I'm going to be redoing that exact same section 900 more times after dying at the very end. Like, there's just so many arrows. Maybe if I just like... It's just hard to process what all of them are trying to tell me. So bounce there, bounce there, go up! Okay. As soon as it comes out the pipe. I have to go slightly before it comes out of the pipe, actually. I didn't have enough time. Shit! All right, we made it. So I need to, I need to, I need to go like right before it comes out of the pipe. Maybe as soon as it, I'm gonna let it go off screen 
and then jump once and then go? No, jump twice maybe. Let me see. I'm trying to make like a... Yeah, that would be it. So I'm going to let it go off screen. Jump twice. I feel like I'm doing this the idiot way. Am I doing this? Ah, shit, that was too soon. Maybe two full jumps. Carl, why are you grabbing the spring? Oh, am I doing it wrong? I don't know what I'm doing. I feel like I'm doing... Yeah, I feel like I'm definitely doing something stupid. <laughs> like, you can cheese that, so... Oh, I'm just... Why am I grabbing the spring? I was grabbing the spring, so I didn't accidentally hit it. But yeah, it would make it a lot easier to just not grab the spring, huh? Ugh. Good point, good point. All right, all right. Oh, I'm gonna grab this. So what they're saying is, yeah, I'm still gonna grab the spring. Also, this is so cheesy, unless I need the fireball, in which case I'm gonna be sad. They mean don't grab this spring, like just jump into it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, in the lava! All right, I can probably just go immediately right there. As soon as it's, as soon as I see it coming out, we go. <laughs> Good timing, bad jumping. Whatever. All right. It slows down when it hits the spring. It keeps throwing me off. All right, I gotta jump. Just I gotta like go a little bit more to the left. Going too fast. Gotta slow down just a little bit. Little left, right. What the fuck? I really wonder if I'm gonna be cheesing this level or if I'm gonna get to the. Ah, shit! I didn't even pick that up. Or I'm gonna get to the next part and then it's gonna turn out that I needed to. All right, there we go. No! 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 I didn't want to go in that. I didn't want to go in that because I didn't get the red coin. I was worried that I would hit a checkpoint and not have all the red coins. I'm not wearing pants right now. What am I doing wrong? All right, there we go. There we go. I think I'm supposed to keep the fireball. I don't know. We're about to find out. <laughs> ah, shit. I was supposed to keep the fireball. All right. Well, that's bad. That's all sorts of bad. So, uh, we got to figure out how to do things a little bit differently here. So, we can't try it. We can't be cheesing this part right here. We need to somehow... We need to somehow keep our fireball the entire time. Something about the timing I'm not doing right. Not 100% sure what. Oh gosh, don't start over. Don't start over. So some something about what I'm doing there is making that part not work. The sh I'm landing on the shell too early and I don't really understand how to... Oh, I get it actually. I get it. I totally get it. Um, I think anyway, I think if I actually don't hold... Let me try something. Nope, that wasn't it. <laughs> that wasn't it. That wasn't it at all. <laughs> I wonder if I could just no, I guess I would hit that. I was thinking like I could just cheese it with the spring jump, but I would hit the wall up there. What am I doing wrong? I wonder if I, huh? If I do wait at the beginning, like I feel like I'm not supposed to wait. The sh so the shell has to hit the spring at the bottom. Like I get exactly what has to happen. I just don't get how to make it happen. It's like I do need to wait a second at the. It's like I do need to wait a second at the start or something. I don't know. Hmm. Well, that was it. Hmm. There we go. I had I waited at the start. What I did was I just waited at the start, which doesn't seem intuitive to me. It's kind of weird. <laughs> well, at least I went out in style. Oh my gosh. So yeah, I just waited a split second at the start right there, and that made it line up better. Well, that was too that was too long. Hmm. All right, I'm just trying to slow down a little bit at the start. Maybe that'll do it. Yeah, there we go. There we go. It's for some reason that slow down's doing it. All right. Oh shit! Oh, it's gonna respawn. It's gonna respawn. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's do this. Let's do this. There we go. That's definitely the right way to do it. I'm definitely doing it right. Or like the intended way. It's just very finicky timing. Damn it. Too late on my spring drop. 
<laughs> press the button, press the jump button at the right time. I know, it's all you need to do is just, just push the button at the right time. Like, it's that easy. <laughs> there we go. Midair adjustments. There we go. <laughs> if I had bonked my head and died there, I would have cried so hard. All right. In there. All right, nice. What are we doing here? Not 100% sure why the arrow is pointing down. <laughs> I'm not 100% sure what I'm supposed to do here. Yo, that was it! I did it! <laughs> oh, man! <laughs> what are the odds? All right. Well, now we're fucked. Well, we got a good look at the end, though. We got a good look at the end. All right, cool. Cool. Wait, did I just... Oh, I just lost the... I just lost the key. I would have had to do it in one try or something, I think. <laughs> I get it. It's something to go down to, to, for the duck. I got it. I got it. <laughs> I got it. Well, we were really close. I guess I can't uh, beat the level... Like... No, that's not right. I need to save the... Save the shell. Okay, okay, I get it, I get it. We're gonna save the shell for the end there. I got it. <laughs> it it kind of sucks. So because I uh, died... The checkpoint... Oh, shit. Okay, so the checkpoints actually don't save keys. Like, when you... Um, once you get all the red coins and you get the key, if you die, it doesn't remember which... It doesn't remember which red coins you had or that you had the key. So I can no longer beat the level with the key. I assume it was just there for, you know, people who get it on the first try. Like, it's not gonna be... I, I hope, anyway, it's not going to be crucial for beating the level. It's probably not. Usually, it's not. I don't think any, I don't think they would have made that big of a mistake. Ah, shit. Got to jump right at that last little ice block. There we go. Damn it! Ah, I jumped and bonked my head. How many hours of editing do you put into your videos? So, for example, the very last one that I did, the Puzzles by Pink Birdo, is the most recent YouTube video I uploaded. Shit! Um, I would say it took- that one took me a long time, it was a very long video. It probably took me a total of like five hours or something like that. But then, that's not including the time to get the world records and also to record the commentary or whatever. That's just time editing. So, overall, it took a hell of a long time, which is why it, this is why it took me like a week to make that video. I keep bonking my head! Why? Stop it! <laughs> Some of the setups are a little bit finicky. All right, here we go. I got it. Oh, <laughs> had to drop that just a little bit there. Whee! <laughs> and I have to be... I see. See, the bomb at the end is only... Oh, you get Yoshi if you get the key. The bomb at the end is only going to let me pass if I retain the Fire Flower. <laughs> so I have to beat it with the Fire Flower or it's not going to work. There we go. All right, this should work. Spin jump! Spin jump! <laughs> Gotta do a spin jump. Damn! Alright, we got this. We got this. Oh, I didn't spin jump! Damn it! <laughs> Pooh will get the coins. <laughs> Yo, Pooh! <laughs> Is that a Pooh raid? Is that a Pooh raid? Yes! Alright. Fucking in there, right? Just in time, just in time, Pooh gave me the energy that I needed to get it done! We in there, look at that! Just in the explosion of all the little pieces flying everywhere. Fun level, very fun level. It was a bit harder than the usual Saturday races, but not too bad at all. Mainly just the finickiness of that second section was the hardest part for me to figure out. Yo, I just, it didn't even save! Error code! What? Did it just like not count beating the level? <laughs> Awesome, all right, so we need to play this level. I've wanted to play this level for so long and we keep not doing it, so we gotta do it, we gotta do it. This is just one of those, um, this is just one of those epic levels. So this is Skewer Stronghold Speedrun 4. If anyone remembers, we did another Skewer Stronghold Speedrun previously. Oh my God! <laughs> I can get in there! Oh my God, that level was awesome! So this is gonna be a very hard level, very much a Kaiser level, but hopefully it is going to be awesome. So let's do it. All right, we got skewers, we got spikes, <laughs> we got speed runs, all the good things. Let us let us go back to those long spiky things. <laughs> no, we're not going there this time, chat. We're not doing it. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh, I 
Fuck, do I have to slow down there? It looks like I might have to slow down to get through there. Okay, okay, okay. I love how this level has a lot of back and forth. Oh, it's it's up. Okay, okay. Oh, hey! Skewing my fizz! Okay, okay, okay. Wrap around. Oh, I got stuck. I got stuck. All right, I gotta make sure I get the jump lined up there. I love Dan's crazy speedrun levels, though. They're so epic. Oh my god. All right, I just had to do a full jump there. Okay, and then we're gonna go left. We're gonna go right, left, and then I think do some... It looks like do a tight jump in the little gap there. There he is. Okay, left, right, up, up. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Holy sh... Shit, what do I do? Um, I have to hit the POWs, but how? <laughs> POW. That was confusing. I didn't even see... So I saw munchers to the right. I guess... So there wasn't enough time to get through the munchers if I just... But there were three POW blocks. I think I'm gonna have to go back and forth into the POW blocks. Alright. Go, 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 go! Alright. I... <laughs> oh, that was it! That was totally it! That was awesome. That was awesome. All right, follow the coins. Dan always makes it easy to figure out what to do because he always puts the coins for each jump. Like if you look, every single jump has a nice little coin. All right, go, 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 do it, do it, do it. That part is sweet. All right, back, forth, back. Yes! What do I do, what do I do? Jump! Oh shit, there's a freaking, what, are they, what is the official name of those? I always forget the official name. So I need to bounce on that mole, it looks like. And then it looks like we're doing another wrap around. Okay. So, do I... It looks like I definitely go around. That part's really tricky looking. That part looks very weird. I love this part. Alright. Bounce on the mole. Bounce... Oh! <laughs> my gosh! So that's gonna spring me back. And then what? <laughs> I guess it's just waiting for that gap on the right side to open up. Oh shit, I'm jumping too high there. So that means I need to jump uh, later, I think? That's kind of weird. It's kind of a really weird setup. Oh, fuck, I'm not hitting it. I keep going over it. Oh, I just need to, maybe I just need to drop my jump. I don't think so. I think if I drop my jump, I'm gonna hit the thwomp. Hmm. All right, we have reached, we have reached our first stumbling block. Skew this level, it's too hard. Jump, jump, jump. All right, I'm gonna try jumping sooner. Cause then maybe my trajectory will be lower. That would make some sense. Nope, I just went over it. <laughs> I think jumping later is it. <laughs> Do you love Good Eats? Yeah, I love Good Eats. Oh my god. It's like... <laughs> it's like, I don't even like cooking and I like that. There's <laughs> something relaxing about it. Yeah, Good Eats is on Netflix. Honestly, I think I like it because the way that that guy like does cooking reminds me of doing chemistry. <laughs> cooking pretty much is chemistry. Yeah, science, history, food, what's not to love, exactly. <laughs> All right. So we're gonna, I'm gonna try jumping into the skewer. I'm gonna try jumping later. Just that, that one little part is the only thing that is not making sense to me. So if I'm, if I'm overshooting the jump, I could just drop the jump so that like, you know, I just release jump a little bit, but then I think I'm just gonna hit the thwomp. Like I've gotta, I've gotta hit that thing and then turn around and still have enough height to like make it over the corner of the thwomp and that part I keep dying on at the end. Hmm. All right, hold on. Let's do it. Oh, I still jumped over it. Why? Why do I jump over it? This was perfect until this. Why? I don't understand. I don't understand what I'm doing wrong there. Ah. All right, anyone got more ideas? Because I'm out of ideas for that part. I'm, I'm also trying to think, like, if I get there at a different time, the swamp will be in, like, a different part of its cycle. Let's play. Ah, it's still went over. Fuck. Idea, just do it. Yeah, I know. Jump immediately on the P-Switch. I was thinking jumping sooner might be good, um, because the sooner that you jump, I'll come down sooner, and then maybe I'll get it. So, try not hitting the thwomp. Yeah, yeah. What do we do? This part is sweet, but this part is confusing. That was it! Okay, I jumped later. I jumped later. Okay, I think I get it. There's actually a mole that drops down after the P-Switch, and I think that I'm I think that I'm supposed to be jumping on that and not on the P-Switch. 
I'm pretty sure. So I think I'm just getting confused. I thought I had to jump on the P-Switch, but I actually need to just jump after the P-Switch. I'm pretty sure. I get it. I get it. I, oh, and then I fucking jump. Okay, there was a mole that was dropping down into the lava the entire time that I wasn't even seeing. So, the key, of course, of course, guys, we should have known this. Of course, the key to beating this level was to just follow the mole. The mole is there showing us what to do. Do it. Yeah. Ah, oh, shit. Um, I think I just do a big jump off of that guy. It's in some and not others. Okay, what are we doing? 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 Fuck, the staircase, man. The staircase is too strong. Fuck. Why does something non-living like a virus have the drive to reproduce? Uh, it doesn't have a. I don't think. I don't think I would consider it as a drive to reproduce any more than like. Like, what's an example? Like, I mean, it's just something that just happens. Like, you know, when water collects and turns into a rain cloud and it rains, it's not like. like I don't know if that's necessarily a good example. Like, I'm trying to think of what is like a good example of. Something that's like obviously not living, but is just kind of doing doing something that kind of looks like it's doing it with a purpose. That's kind of what viruses are like. I could probably think of a really good example for that if I wasn't in the middle of playing this level. Okay, go! No! 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 I spaghettied everywhere. I spaghettied everywhere. Yeah, a good example is like fire. Okay, like you know. When it looks like fire is spreading, like it looks like it's reproducing, but it's not, you know, it's just, it's just energy and matter and mass doing the things that they do. The weird thing about viruses is, you know, they're kind of doing it in a living system, with a living system, with the components of a living system. They even like steal the parts of a living system. So that's what makes viruses kind of crazy. All right. Why am I so fucking bad at that staircase? <laughs> that staircase. Um. I, I think that, personally, I think that viruses are literally like glitches in biology. Um, they're like, like a good example of what I'm talking about because they're even simpler is prions or prions. Um, prions or prions are literally just a single protein that when it touches other proteins tends to turn them into something that's more like the prion. So it's like, it's, you know, a cell has tens of thousands of proteins in it. And a, even a virus, like, is going to be doing all sorts of complicated shit. But a prion is just one thing. It's just, just one little protein and all it, it, you know, it even causes a disease for us. It's like a glitch. It's like, if, if a, if something like a prion ever just arises naturally, just randomly, it makes more of itself, so it continues on. So it's like, it's a glitch that you just can't get rid of. Viruses, I think, are just a slightly more complicated version of that. All right, this level is sick. All right, we're gonna not suck. Here we go. We're gonna not suck. All right, we did it. Yes, 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 yes. Damn. <laughs> uh, so this was actually the Saturday race that I missed while I was um, off on vacation. Racing into Crag's Castle by Ewick. Let's do it. Eric made the um, really, really hilarious. Oh, we're dead. All right. Um, this guy made the um, Wiggler level. If anyone remembers that, that was a really cool level. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Spin jump. <laughs> That's a good spin jump. Uh, are you doing viewer levels anytime soon? Like, I, I kind of always do viewer levels. I just, I just don't play any viewer level. I have to have like a reason. Shit. I have to have a really good reason to think it's going to be a good level. <laughs> I'm sorry that you have brain power stuck in your head. <laughs> Actually, I'm not. Oh, that was not a spin jump at all. Okay. I should do a... Yeah, I should do a spin jump right there. So I was thinking that the different color blocks are telling me to do a spin jump or not. Like, see, this one... Is, and then, like, this is this one looks like the other jump. Oh, shit! But it, it works so much better to just do a spin jump on that one. I'm bad. Well, I love those Mario ROM hacks, Barb. Oh, God, what... <laughs> okay, I think we got that right. I think I need to do that without slowing down at all because I didn't have any time unless I could jump over that. I'm actually a little closer to my screen and it's kind of messing me up a little bit. I guess I'm used to looking at it from further away. I think I can like see more at once. I might have to push my screen back if I keep dying. Okay. 
Ah, shit, just need to do it. Hold on one sec. Let's do it. What's your favorite hot sauce other than sriracha? Well, sriracha is definitely the one that I use the most. Um, I'm also just a general fan of like salsas and jalapenos shit and jalapenos and stuff. Right, one second. What do I do? I just need to not slow down. I think I know sriracha is definitely my favorite hot sauce. So like I've had a lot of really good hot sauces that don't really like they're like things that I'll get from a place or that somebody will make that aren't necessarily like a thing that has a name. So definitely sriracha. <laughs> Nothing is even close to sriracha. Damn, I'm bad. <laughs> I think I want, yeah, I think spin jump there is the way to go. No, I didn't. Shit, that was a spin jump. Ah! All right, hold on. All right, spin. Oh, that was a small jump. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I saw the coins and I was like, I gotta get the coins. Oh, All right. It is so hard to think and game at the same time. Therefore, I'm not going to think anymore. Wait, I don't anyway. Oh, what do you want? That was a big one too. I can't make split second decisions. Small, small. No, that was big. It was small, small, big, and then the next one was three small ones. Fuck. Okay. Small, big. Small, small, small. Okay. 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 All right, we fucking did it. Let's start the science early. Oh shit. What do you think of the Fermi paradox? So the Fermi paradox is this idea that. Okay, there's like so many freaking ridiculous number of stars. Shit, what the? I cannot describe this stuff while I try to figure out these levels. But basically there's like, there's so many freaking stars. How is it that we haven't been contacted by aliens at this point? Like, does that mean that we've like been horribly wrong about something? Um, to me, it, it makes a lot of sense though. I've... Oh God, oh my God, how did that just, what is, okay, hold on. Nope, that's not right, that's not right, that's not right. Ah! <laughs> to me, I feel like the issue is, okay, even though there are ridiculous number of stars, ridiculous number of planets, I'm totally in the camp that there's probably life in the universe somewhere. But the distances between solar systems, between planets, between galaxies, what the fuck do I do? <laughs> this is a really cool section. This is a really cool section. This section is really cool. Okay, wait, I, I want to just concentrate on this section. This is really cool. But, but basically, I feel like even if there is intelligent life, how are they going to get to us? Or like, how are they gonna? How are we gonna know about it? All right, here we go. Spin jump looks good there. Oh, this is sick. What's gonna happen? What's gonna? Oh, damn! Oh, fuck! <laughs> fuck! I think I had it. I just didn't jump quite late enough right there. That was really cool. That was really cool. That section was really cool. It's just, I'm amazed at how well that section just works. Okay, late jump. Late jump. Big jump. What do I do? Oh, this is the same part. Oh my god. Yes! Yeah. <laughs> go! Go! Oh my god, no! I didn't know to go up there, shit. Shit, didn't know to go all the way up. Oh, this is really cool. This level's really fun because it looks like you're doing all this crazy shit. <laughs> and it's kind of just leading you to doing it. Okay, wait, I'm gonna concentrate on actually getting this part right, because these jumps are really tight. Okay. Oh, shit. Ah, it, it gets kind of weird at the top of the screen there because they're they start to come off screen and it's kind of hard to tell what's going on okay. right. I think it's like three of these one more. Oh, no, another one. Okay. Okay. Oh, I'm really close to those All right. All right. I don't remember what to do here. Just keep going Okay, okay, okay Big jump Fuck no! Gotta jump right at the end. Gotta jump right at the end. I'm like, I'm so blind. It's ridiculous. Sometimes, like when I wake up in the morning and I don't have my glasses on, I'll just, it'll just like hit me how, f oh shit, how freaking blind I am. Like, I can't read something four feet in front of me if I don't have my glasses on. I'm just ridiculously blind. It makes me wonder oftentimes like, did humans always get this blind? Or like, would I have just like died? <laughs> Or is it is it act or is it a function of the fact that we have like so many screens and things that we're looking at constantly that we just get a lot worse vision now than humans used to? I've always wondered about that. Never really looked into it. All right, I might be dead. I'm not dead. All right, let's do it. Do it. Go, go, go! Fast turnarounds. All right, big jump, big jump, big jump! All right, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? Not that. Ah. <laughs> not that. One more. Okay. All right. 
I gotta be quick on these turnarounds. Right, late jump. And then we're gonna go right and then left. Yes! Alright, made it. Alright, that section was really cool. That was probably my favorite section for one of these Saturday levels in quite a while. Um, oh, throw the, throw the spring. <laughs> Uh, how am I gonna do something about that POW? Maybe if I go fast enough, I'll be able to get to that POW? It's kind of weird. Not exactly sure what this wants me to do. Throw this. I think I just need to not slow down. I don't know if I need to bring the spring or not. That's the part I can't tell. So it looks like if I go fast enough... Uh... No, I gotta duck... Yeah, I've gotta duck some, or maybe throw that sooner. <laughs> Uh, no, I'm not getting Mario Maker 3DS. It doesn't really serve any purpose for me. Though that challenge mode that I saw Trihex playing earlier looked a little bit co cool. <laughs> no, I do have to run. Uh, look at the top of the screen. There we go. <laughs> Shit. That's what's supposed to happen, so I do just have to go fast. The reason I'm running is there's a thwomp at the, on a track moving away from me at the top of the screen. And if it uh, goes... It ha I have to catch up to it, basically, in order to get it to... There we go. Kill that. What do you... I, do, do you want me to throw the... I think it wants me to throw the spring up right there. All right, I think I got this. Audio is good. All right, throw it up there. Oh my god, what am I doing? What's going on? Ah! Oh my god, that was like... I thought I was dead like five different times. All right, let's do this again. I don't know if I can make that happen again. Shit, that was wrong. Well, nope. All right. So this is cool. Basically, you're on a timer. If you ever slow down, then you can't get the thwomp at the top. The turn around. Oh, jeez. Oh, shit. Okay, okay. All right. This part is really... Oh, I... Bigger jump. Damn it. <laughs> the spike gap increased. <laughs> All right. Bigger one. Oh, my God. What do you want me to do? <laughs> I have no idea what that wanted me to do. <laughs> Alright, what do I do? Oh, that's exactly what I thought! Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. So you throw the spring into the other spring, the spring goes back at you, and you can use that time to start a spin jump. Since you can't spin jump while holding an item, you have to kind of get rid of the item for a second in order to initiate the spin jump. Make it happen. We're gonna make it happen. <laughs> that was. <laughs> I ran right off the edge. That wasn't even close. <laughs> that wasn't even close. All right. All right. Yes. Yes. Holy shit. That's exactly what I thought you were gonna have to do. <laughs> so you throw the spring up right into the thwomp before it kills you. Oh, I did a little adjustment mid-air there. I, like, did a little left-right because I was actually too far forward last time. And I was afraid that was going to happen again. I'm glad I did because I think that was what let me get in there. Whew. Sick level. Super sick level. <laughs> All right, this is it, guys. I've been practicing this level for hours and hours. Will I finally be able to beat it? <laughs> uh, seriously, though, this level is fucking awesome. <laughs> Mm. All right, we're gonna go in this door first. So this is this is a Cape Kaizo. This is a brutal, impossible, crazy hard Cape Kaizo. Whew! Oh shit! Barely made that. <laughs> Damn! First room done. All right. <laughs> oh shit! Good cat, you finished your level. Damn! I gotta check that out. Promoting Glitch Cat on National Cat Day. I see you, girl. Yo, Spice Cat's in. <laughs> I made Pat Cat. I love some of Sir Gordon's levels. Whew, we made it. Really close call there. <laughs> Alright, this part's crazy. There's actually a really cool trick to like get a double cape burst to kind of like poof up in the air. I did it again there. I love that trick. You like get all of the height of doing a swoop but you don't actually do the swoop. Oh shit, we lost Kate. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, Z Salty. I don't know what you're talking about. 
Uh, seriously though, I love the, like, not only is this fun to watch, but the level design that went into this is really, really impressive. Like, you're going through all of these different rooms, all of these different doors, like, it's like an entire level, collecting red coins, doing everything. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's full of wonderful trolls. Oh man, is it sick or what? <laughs> This is like the coolest thing in the entire world. Yo! <laughs> Look at that! <laughs> oh, I fucking love that, dude. That that must have been so hard to just set it up so that that's even possible. So cool. This level is so cool. That spring is what lets you get to the last door here. This level is so dope. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> that level is extremely impressive in terms of level design. Like, that level must have taken a long ass time to make. Those fire bars are just like in every possible pixel that without killing Mario. <laughs> I'm a phony, a big fat phony. <laughs> yeah, I was being so serious, right? You know, with the like level title that says auto and the 10% clear rate. <laughs> but yeah, really, really big cold. It's crazy. I'm dead. Oh man, actually, I mean, just do some do some YouTube and some Google searches. There are dozens of really really cool science experiments that are great for kids or just for just for young people in general. Um, like the what is it? It's like soap and food coloring and milk or something. It's like really cheap and easy to do, which is really fun. Elven toothpaste is definitely my go-to. Glad you went to that one first. If you want something for people to play with, like getting a big thing of non-Newtonian fluid is kind of fun to play with too. Uh, there's tons of examples though. I would just look some stuff up. You'll find great stuff. <laughs> For me, quantum physics is like, what the fuck is going on? Reality, what are you doing? Particle, are you a wave? Or, or uh, are you a wave or a particle? Make up your fucking mind. <laughs> How do viruses make you sick? That's actually a really interesting question. Um, I'm curious, like, you know when you guys get the, you get sick and you like, you know, you get a fever or like, you know, you're coughing or you like get the body chills and all that stuff. Um, Something interesting that, I don't know if a lot of people know this or not, is most of that that you're feeling, the reason it like feels roughly the same for lots of different types of infections, like, you know, we call the common cold one thing, but it's actually like 50 different viruses that you could get, um, is because what you're actually feeling is the effects of your immune system. Uh, though you can definitely get things that, like viruses that actually cause effects themselves, I don't know. But mainly what you're feeling is just your own immune system trying to kill the virus. So actually what kills you sometimes is your own immune system overreacting, which is kind of a cool but weird thing about that. But yeah, viruses can definitely destroy cells, so one thing that they do a lot of. They get into your cells, kind of reprogram them into big virus factories that just make tons of cells. And then they blow up the cell and release all the delicious new viruses to go find new cells to reprogram. They're kind of... It's kind of cool and crazy thinking about how they like literally just kind of in ex exploit your own your own body, your own cell, your own life, even though they may not be considered life themselves. They're almost like a gl honestly, viruses to me are like a glitch. But not all viruses kill cells, though, or at least um, well, I guess that's kind of a nah, that's not really true. They just don't kill all types of cells. Some virus at some point or another kills cells. <laughs> yeah, DNA virus is more likely to not kill you than RNA viruses. This is true. So, um, some viruses, like, t like HIV is an interesting one because HIV it can destroy some cells and actually immune cells a lot of the time. But HIV also will just literally go into your DNA and just like become part of you, become part of your DNA and sit there and wait. And that's why HIV, that's one of the reasons why HIV is so freaking hard to cure is it, sen it essentially just goes into a bunch of your cells and into your own DNA. And it's like, well, how are you going to get it out? How are you going to do that? You can't just like start killing all of your cells. And even if you could, how would you know the right ones to kill? Because 
it's in some and not others. I don't know, I think it's hard to predict what would happen. Like if in the current world you just got rid of all the viruses, yeah, crazy shit would happen because viruses kill a lot of bacteria and everything else. But if it really happened, like if there never were viruses in the first place, maybe there'd be something else that took their place instead. Is it true that you can never catch the same cold? Uh, kind of true, but not really. Depends. Depends on what you mean by same. Usually when you get sick with one thing, if you get the like exact same or very, very similar like virus another time, your immune system will kill it. But varies for different viruses. And, mo and usually though, like for the common cold virus, the reason you get it or whatever all the time is A, it's a lot of different viruses, but it, be, it mutates a lot. So the virus changes, it's not really the same one. How does HIV get past the human firewall? Well, a liver is not like, does not have nine gigabillion mechanisms for getting around fucking with you and tricking your body like HIV does. HIV has tons and tons and tons of different mechanisms to basically trick your cells or when it does get into a cell to make the immune system less likely to see it. Um, like it also spreads like a liver when you transplant it doesn't like go spread around. Like, I don't know. So it's just, there's a lot of, um, a lot of things, a lot of very sneaky shit that viruses do. So like, here's one random example. There's a thing on the cell that all cells have that is kind of like you have immune cells that'll kind of go around and look for it and try to figure, and that thing will kind of tell the cell that, hey, everything's fine here, nothing is going wrong, everything is fine and dandy. Viruses will literally like make cells that they have infected continue doing that to be like, yeah, nothing to see here. Or it'll take the like alarm systems and disable them, lots of stuff like that. So viruses, sneaky bastards. <laughs>